Welcome back you guys. Today we are going to be steel manning the case for drywall nails. So it's been a while since I've used them, mostly because I haven't hung a job big enough for them to be a benefit. It's been about two years since I hung a decent sized drywall job and right now I'm on just under a 40 sheeter. And lo and behold, what do you know about halfway through my old habits come back and I start using drywall nails. But there is a time and a place you can use them to help speed you up without compromising quality. So let me show you guys what these simple little uses are. So the first is gonna be tacking sheets in place. So first I gotta get a couple of nails in the nail holder. So as you guys can see, it's pretty easy. To just kind of punch them in place with your hand and throw a couple of quick tacks in. So I usually try and keep them in places that'll be buried by like a corner bead or trim. So that was pretty easy. I mean, we could have done the same thing with a drill the benefit being I'm not having to hold a drill. So I'm just able to walk around freely without any cords and tack this sheet up. Boy, that is quite the curve from that corner bead back to that back wall. And one more right here where it'll get covered. Mostly by the next sheet, but also by the corner tape. So now at this point I can router out the legs of this opening. And now I can turn the drill on and get to finishing this sheet off. Another benefit is that if you nail off the bottoms, When you're tacking your sheets up, it's way less dusty. The drill, on the other hand, so as you can see, I got something kind of similar going on here. I've got this whole wall tacked off. I'm about to router out all the window openings, and then I'm going to set the drill, set the trigger locked, and I'm just going to screw this whole wall off. So let's take a closer look, though. So when I first started on this wall, I was still using screws and I was kind of working my way over. I think this is the first sheet where the nails came out again. And as you can see, I put a screw next to them just in case, but that's how I tacked that one up. And then this next one looks like I did it with all screws. And then the nails start coming out. And like I mentioned, I've been nailing off the bottoms to avoid kicking up the dust. And then I think right here is where I started to fully remember and appreciate the nails. You see I've nailed that bottom, I've got one tacked in that corner, one there, down there. So like I said, it took me about half a job to start remembering where and when I like to use them and how much I actually like to use them because it really does make it way easier to just tack up a whole wall. And the reason that this ends up being more efficient is because you're not dividing your tasks. So at one time you're just measuring, cutting and tacking. And then the next time you're just routering things out. And then the next time you're just putting in screws. So 
that whole process of like, you know, putting down a tool and then starting another task with a different tool actually eats up a lot of time. So if you use this method for like a whole room or just a wall or even a whole house, like some guys do, they'll literally tack up the whole house and then do each one of those tasks individually. Um, I don't like to spread it out that far. I think one wall at a time is, is pretty decent because that way you're not gonna start forgetting boxes. If you're doing, you know, like whole rooms and whole houses at a time just tacked up, you might start to forget where a lot of those boxes are. So anyways, yeah, that's the case for nails. And for some reason, I've actually been liking this hammer more than my Vaughn one lately. I don't know, it's just kind of light and I'm less likely to mash the board. I've also found myself going back to corded tools. Um, I like having the power from a corded, the consistent power on a corded router over my cordless routers. I find that the cordless routers get kind of bogged down and I break bits a little more often. And I find with this, my old Hilti cordless drywall drills, the batteries are getting old and they're just like, they're not sinking one and five eighths and two inch screws very well anymore. And I'm in a hundred year old house with super old hard lumber. So I'm finding that I'm needing a corded tool and the cords aren't bugging me as much as I thought they would. So what do you know? Nails and corded tools. The old schoolers know what they're doing. Anyways, I just want to say thanks for watching. I hope your projects are going really well, but I hope you guys are doing even better. Um, I'm doing well over here. Till the next one, you guys.